we'll start talking about different aspects of this whole issue that people are investigating. This one is out of the Clinical Lab and Hematology 2011 from the UK, homocysteine and folate deficiency. This was looking at pregnant women. If you'd like to order your own labs and save some money, try our partnership with David Wright and MyHealthPlan.io. Deficiency of folates. As you know, deficiency of folate is a big deal because it can cause spina bifida in the child. But they're looking at not spina bifida in the child, they're looking at the mom and her metabolism. Deficiency of folate during pregnancy is associated with megaloblastic anemia, elevated homocysteine, and methylmalonic acid correlate with folate deficiency. And in fact, that's what we look for when we're screening for that. We look for MMA, methylmalonic acid. Many of you who have been patients, we may have tested that with you and had that discussion. What they did in this study was they took 263 pregnant women, they included them in the study, and they measured red cell folate, serum folate, vitamin B12, homocysteine, and methylmalonic acid. Higher levels of homocysteine were found in subjects with lower red cell folate levels. To get that, we got through a whole bunch of details. Low folate, high homocysteine. And so again, high homocysteine, maybe low folate. So remember that piece. Effect of multivitamins on homocysteine in women over 60. This was the European Journal of Nutrition back in 2005. There's deficiency of folic acid, vitamin B6, vitamin B12 can result in elevated total homocysteine. The authors evaluated the effect of a six-month supplementation with B6, B12, and folate on the level of total plasma homocysteine and on methylmalonic acid. After supplementation, homocysteine and methylmalonic acid concentration decreased significantly, especially in those with lower vitamin concentration. So let's go back to the framework that I created a few minutes ago. You remember I stopped the statement that this whole antioxidant craze, vitamins A, C, and E, really forgets what the body does. What the body does is it reduces with a full methyl group, not just a, a hydrogen ion. So why are we talking about vitamins B? Here's the thing. The body uses the B vitamins, folate, B6, B12, as a storage pool for these methyl groups. That's why the vitamin B complex is actually more important in terms of oxidation reduction, managing that process than vitamins A, C, and E. Because again, if you can help the body the way the body's geared to do it, it's usually gonna do it better. So after supplementation with B6, B12, and folate, the total plasma homocysteine, methylmalonic acid concentrations decrease significantly, especially in those with lower vitamin concentration at baseline. Thank <laughs> you.